Have you ever heard of Hannibal Lecter? You know, Hannibal the Cannibal or Jeffrey Dahmer? I'm sure you've heard of at least one of those. Well, I have a story for you that makes them look like, uh, nothing. <laughs> this is a story of Sonny Bean, Alexander Sonny Bean. It's from the 15th, 16th, maybe 17th century. He meets a lady. They get married or however they handle it back in the day. They move away from town and they move into a cave. And in the cave, they decide they have to figure out some way to make money. Sonny goes out at nighttime, can't find any way to do it, so he starts robbing people. When he robs people, he doesn't want them to uh, tell anyone, so he kills them. He still thinks, well, I may still get caught because I killed somebody. So his way of dealing with that was to take the bodies back to the gate. And instead of having smelly bodies, he decides we'll take their skin off, we'll pickle them, and we'll eat them. So, they have a very healthy diet of human meat for food. As time goes on, they have six daughters and eight sons. The kids start joining in and helping um, of people and attack several at a time, bring them back, pickle them, and eat them. Then, along the way, in the 25 years of time, they kill mm, up to a thousand people, maybe. And during this time, they also have children through incest. They all stay there in the cave. The cave is huge. It's got mile-long paths through it so they could live in it. In the daytime, it would flood the bottom of the cave, so they all lived up further into the cave. So as the water would recede, they'd go out and they'd do their robberies of people again, bring the bodies back. Well, since they did not leave, they had 32 children between the daughters and the sons. They had tons of people to help capture bodies. Well, throughout time, bones would show up Nobody actually did much about it. They'd look around to see and investigate a little bit, but they couldn't really figure out what it was. And then one day, the group goes out to capture someone. They pull the lady off of a horse and they kill her and they're taking parts off of her and they're going to bring her back and they attack the, the man with them and the man sees what's happening, fights them off and chases after them, but by that time, more people have come along because they've heard a ruckus. It must not have been too far from the city. And so they're all following them. Well, the beans get away. But by that time, all the information gets back to the city. For some reason, uh, King James the Seventh decides he's going to bring some people to town, soldiers. And they are going to go search with hounds and everything and go find these terrible people. Well, they do. They go find them. They eventually make it to the cave. They get in there. They see all the bones, the skins, the um, the prizes that they have gotten from all the dead bodies found throughout the cave. They capture the people and they bring them back. Well, when they bring them back, they s cut the legs off of the men and they let them sit there and die bleeding out. And on the next day, they burn the women like they were witches. You know, I'm sure you've heard stories like that. Well, they burn the women. There you go. Sawney Bean's family is gone. Everybody is gone. You tell me, do you think this is a true story or is it legend? Bye.